Now, if you are one of those people who walk around with headphones almost surgically attached to your ears, I think you're going to like our next entrepreneurs. The key question, though, is will the dragons like them? Hello, I'm Lloyd. Hi, I'm Steve. Uh, we're here today looking for a £40,000 investment for a 10% stake in our company, Ear Candy. Now, being quite an active person um, and doing a lot of running, I've always been aware of the constant problem of earphones falling out of my ears whenever I'm doing any kind of physical activity. Ear Candy is a do-it-yourself custom moulding system that fits to any type of earphone, 100% guaranteeing that it won't fall out during activity. Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick moulding demonstration, if I can borrow Gavin. Ear candy comes in two parts, so a white activator and a coloured silicon. It's a little bit like Play-Doh. So you take about a third out of each one. Mould that together until they're evenly mixed. Take the earphone, mould it around the stem. Place the earphone in the ear as normal and then mould the ear candy into the gaps. In 10 minutes, that will be set uh, to a, a fairly firm silicon rubber, and it will ensure that Gavin's earphones never fall out. So in short, sweatproof, waterproof, ear candy lets you do more of what makes you happy. A colourful pitch from Lloyd Daly and Stephen Friedman. They're asking for £40,000 for a 10% equity stake in their DIY custom moulding ear product. Has this been in your ear? That was moulded to my ear, <laughs> right. but I cleaned them beforehand. <laughs> Deborah Meaden is the first to question the laid-back entrepreneurs. I don't know if you know my background, but I was involved with a company called WSC. They make yeah. custom moulded earphones. OK. But... <laughs> <laughs> significantly higher price than we're selling. You got it. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, but I just, I'm interested because um, certainly the trend, I mean, I, I think I sold it two years ago, but, it, but, but the trend was getting, was for the big... Over the ear. Over the ear earphones. So what's actually happening to this end of the market? There's a lot of collaborations happening at the moment. And one of the things that's, that's happened to us is uh, we also met a famous DJ called Judge Jules, who's been a Radio 1 DJ for the last 15 years. He's very interested in the product. And although he thinks that he's not the right person to endorse it, he would like to introduce us to people who he thinks would be. We're looking at motor racing as well. Anyone who wears a crash helmet tends to suffer from wind rush, or if they wear an earpiece, when they take their helmet off, their, their earphones tend to fall out. We've had a Formula 3 racing driver tell us that he absolutely loves the product. Can you use it to sleep so you don't hear, Absol absolutely. swim? Once it's moulded, it holds its shape, and you can reuse it again and again and again and again. Because it's, it's very cool. I mean, it's very eye-catching and, and the branding's you. excellent. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad one of you <laughs> said that. We right. worked really hard on that. A promising start for the super-confident entrepreneurs as designer Kelly Hoppen commends their branding concept. But Piers Linney wants to know more about what they actually claim to have invented quite a cool product. So what have you got that's protectable in this process? Well, how interesting that you ask. We can't get a patent on the, pro on the product. The reason for that is that in 2009, there was an application in America for a very similar product. The, the patent was not granted um, because the applicant failed to respond to the patent office in, in time, simply for that reason. So does not you stop the people making the earphones putting these inside the packaging, free. It will be copied, because we don't have a patent. I mean, yeah, we're that's aware, why we yeah. want to focus on the brand. I think it will be a giveaway for, for definite. So I don't think it's a, it's a product that's going to make you a lot of money. 
Okay. You might sell a few on your website. Best way to do it. Great. But I uh, wish you the best of luck. But I'm out. There's no sweet talking from Duncan Bannatyne, who's the first to walk away from an ear candy investment. And Deborah Meaden still has questions for the young entrepreneurs. We haven't talked about cost price and the selling price. What do you envisage they're going to sell at? They cost us one pound fifty-four. That's totally boxed. That's totally, totally boxed. What we see there. Boxed silicone bag, and we sell them for fourteen ninety-nine. It seems like a lot of money for what it is, even if it is quite cool. Well, that's interesting. Uh, this, I mean, the only other person that said that so far was my dad. <laughs> when he said he used to use that putty to seal his windows and he could just poke that in his ear. Glad you said that, not but, me. <laughs> sorry. Well, I'm a dad. I'm a dad. <laughs> yeah. In fact, we've had the, the, the converse opinion, really, that, that it's actually maybe a bit too cheap. And that's been the express opinion of some uh, distributors as well. Guys, who have you, who have you spoken to, distributors? Um, we spoke to a... Uh, I can't remember, I can't well, remember the There's no big reason. names that we've spoken to so far. Hmm. Guys, I, I don't think any distributor would take this product. And no manufacturer is going to take it either. I don't think it's going to work. What, what, don't, so, what don't you think? I think it's that work? it's a complete fad. I'd sell products similar to this all over the world. Sure. Right. And if you look at some of the headphones that are coming out today, Mm -hmm. You'll notice how they are really starting to grip the inner ear. Right. I mean, the actual, one of the main markets we've, we've identified are runners and, and joggers. But you don't need it. The latest pieces of, of tech and headphones coming out, they ain't going to come out of your ear when you run. The ones that I've tried do. Well, you're trying the wrong ones. <laughs> I, I was just, just going to say. probably 30 different variations of headphones that are fantastic. And also, I don't think anybody wants anything as ugly as that on the end of a nice set of £80 headphones. Mm -hmm. I just think it looks like a little piece of plasticine. I'm out. It's a devastating critique from a dragon with some knowledge of the market. After that, will Kelly Hoppen, who was sold on the branding, offer her cash? Guys, um, I think your biggest, biggest problem is the price. For kids to buy these, it's too much money. Sure. Because the only way that I think this is going to be successful is if it becomes the craze and it sure. literally... Right. Every kid wants these and yes. they think it's cool. Right. Because then you've got some traction. Mm. I don't want to risk investing in you because I'm not sure that you're going to be able to get this done cheaper. You know what I'm about to say. Yes. <laughs> Sadly. I want to wish you luck. <laughs> thank you very much. But okay, I'm you. not going to invest, so I'm okay. out. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for your time. Um, I'm not convinced, because of the length of time you're going to be able to operate in this marketplace without challenge and serious challenge from people who can actually take advantage quicker than you, yes. that you're going to make enough money for an investor. Sorry, guys, but on this one, I won't be investing and I'm out. Piers Linney is the last dragon standing. He thought the product was a cool concept. So, is it a hot enough investment for him? Big entrance, big price, <laughs> and tiny market. Big investment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. We actually have two other offers of investment outside of I'd the I'll take day. those. Yes. I think you will sell some of these to a yeah, very specific yeah. market, mm -hmm. particularly people that need to spin on their heads while they're listening to music. <laughs> there aren't many of them, so <laughs> it's not something you can make money out of as an investor. Um, right. But good luck, but I'm afraid I'm out. Okay, okay thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. The pair leave the den without a dragon investor. Now it'll be down to them alone to mould their business into a success. Well... Well, well, no dragons today. <laughs> Just a bit of plasticine in your ear. Quite clever. I yeah. think they could sell it at airport. I, I actually think it's very cool. And on aircraft as, as... Yeah. But you're absolutely right, Duncan. It'll be giveaway before you know it. We got some very good feedback from, from the dragons. And I think, you know, we are going to take a lot of it on board. I've seen some people get some roastings in there before. Although we didn't get investment, <laughs> we didn't get quite as badly burned as some others that have been in there. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. 